Hi, this is John Brads from RunMichigan.com, talking to Jackie Respecki, who uh, just ran, uh, what was it, 244? Uh, Not sure the second day, I think 49. 244-49 here at the Chicago Marathon to qualify for the Olympic Trials in uh, January of 2012 yeah. down in Houston. Yes. So, uh, um, and I know, uh, you know, you've been training hard, and uh, you ran Houston uh, Marathon this year, didn't go so well, and you ran Chicago a year ago and just missed by 17 seconds. So, now you come back and you bury it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, third time is a charm. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, how'd the race go out from the beginning for you? Um, you know, uh, we were a little off in the beginning. Uh, the pacers went off really, they were very underpaced. We were about 6.04 through the mile. And so we kind of, uh, me and a couple girls just broke off the pacers and tried to just settle more into a pace. So we, it was a little bit fast going through the half, but we just kind of maintained throughout. Just had a really good group of girls out there working together. Yeah, I saw you went through the half and it was like 122.20, somewhere around Yeah. There. It was, I was really thinking to be more like 123, so ideally it was probably right on pace, but um, it was a, a good day. There's a lot of girls out there going for the standard, so they had a lot of help out there. And when did people start falling away? Because it looked like you were coming by pretty much by yourself there uh, towards the end. Yeah, I want to say it was probably right around like 15, 16 miles people started uh, backing off and started dropping off the pacers and stuff. And the pacers, I'm not sure if they even finished or not. They were planning on only going through like 18 miles, so it was on your own after that. And how did you feel overall out there? Um, you know, there was a lot of times where I was just feeling really fatigued and worn out, and then other times it felt great. Like So it was kind of just a, a roller coaster of feeling. But, uh, you know, just there's a lot of uh, other Michigan runners out there, that Scott Fisk and Rich, that were around me to help along. So it was, it was kind of fun just having a lot of familiar faces out on the course. So they run most of the way with you then? Um, they took off a little bit through 13. They left me a bit, and then Rich Power stayed with me for a long time. And then uh, I caught Scott maybe around like 18 or 19 miles, and then he uh, held on for a bit. So that was kind of nice. It was a little bit refreshing there. And uh, what do you think of Chicago? I mean, it's got to be a great place for you now that you qualified here, right? Yeah, I mean, I can't have anything bad about saying this course, but both PRs, I mean, last year and this year, both ran a PR on this course. So it's a great event. It's a, a great course. Uh, the spectators are great. I always get really pumped up, like, at the crowds and everything. So highly recommend it. So now, were you thinking last night? Did you think of you know, all the training you'd done, you were all set for today then? or you, you know, feel? I was trying to... Um, I thought I was pretty confident that I could get the standard this time. Um, I Since I only missed by 16 seconds, um, I actually didn't think I was going to be this far under the standard. I thought it was going to be, uh, let's just run the last mile as hard as I could. So I was pretty pleased on how it went, a little bit better than I thought it went. And what were you thinking that last mile when you knew you were uh, going to make it? Oh, that last mile hurt. You know, I... I thinking like wait a minute what's the standard is it 245 or 246 like I had that mental fuzz of the marathon going on that last mile but it was it was good I was I'm glad I didn't let the different paces the paces were kind of all over like one mile would be like 622 the next 613 so I'm glad I didn't really let that get in my head a little bit and just ran off how I felt so I was kind of happy with doing that. And how much downtime do you get now before you start training for uh, the Not Olympic much. Trials? I think about five days before I start training for the next marathon so <laughs> won't be too well. Hopefully we have a nice weather in Michigan this winter. And any goals for the Olympic trials? Um, you know, I'm just going to try to hang on to people and just try to race out there and, you know, just try to just join with the group. And I would like to go maybe 242, I guess, would be probably a goal. And I know you ran college down there, so it's got to be yes. exciting to go back there uh, to run uh, in your college town, right? Yeah, I have to represent down there for the Cougars. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be yeah, it's great. Just especially it's a, a place that I've run, you know, for eight years, just run all my daily runs on. So I'm very familiar with it. So it's gonna be really fun to be down there. All right, and the second uh, Olympic trials you qualified for, so that's got to be yes. exciting too, right? Yeah, it is. Because the last one I wasn't able to finish because uh, of a knee injury. So this one's gonna be great because I actually am gonna finish this one and get my medal. And now it's gonna be a little bit more uh, special. All right, and you had a lot of people out here cheering for you today. I know yeah, you got your family have, here, right? Yeah, family, there's friends. There's a lot of our clients from uh, Clint Viren's office, and Clint was actually on the course after he dropped off cheering. So there's a lot of spectators. It's, it's very uh, great to have that support behind you. All right, well, again, congratulations on qualifying for the Olympic All trials, right, and uh, we'll plan on uh, seeing you down in Houston. Thank you very much.